everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bugger Designs. I have found a really fun treat to go with the This Birthday Piggy stamp set. Um, it's a little weird, but I think it's kind of fun. Um, this box was designed to hold this treat and it features, again, This Birthday Piggy and the adorable Gingham Cottage Designer Series paper. All right, so let me show you what's inside. I was looking for bacon treats, and I found these on Amazon. There's a link on my blog if you go back there. Um, bacon on the go. My daughter tried it. She said it was pretty good, and I think that's kind of a fun um, treat for somebody who's maybe doing low carb or even just for some dudes in your life who like meat. Okay, well, let's make our box first. I'm using Calypso Coral, and this piece measures seven by seven. And I'm gonna score it on one side at half an inch, three and a fourth, three and three fourths, and six and a half. And then I'm gonna turn it to the other side, and it doesn't matter which side you start on because they're both exactly the same. I'm gonna score it at half an inch, one inch, and six and a half. All right, the first thing you wanna do is grab your bone folder and burnish those lines. Get them nice and crisp. Your bone folder is a great way to do this to make sure that they are all ready to go. All right, now grab your scissors and um, on one side you'll see there's two skinny lines that's the top and that's the part that's going to fold down into the box so the first thing I'm going to do is come over here and cut off these four now again it doesn't matter because both sides are the same so you can do the left or the right all right so now I'm going to cut off this square and this square and I'm going to cut this tab kind of at an angle that and like that okay now these we're going to cut from the top okay like that now come down here and cut off let's see let me make sure i do the right one over here on this one cut off this square and cut that both ends of that tab at an angle and then snip 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 all right so now we've got our box the first thing you're going to do is put adhesive on the inside of this long skinny tab and we're going to fold it over and it's going to kind of hug this other side okay now one thing you can do is lay this down flat and fold this over and it'll match up perfectly okay like that now fold those in and that is your top right there like that now for these, we're just gonna tuck those in and put adhesive on the front flap and fold that over. Now this is a very light snack putting in here, so I'm not terribly worried about the um, adhesive or the weight. Now I'm gonna just take one of my little bacon treats and fold it in half and stuff it in. And close our box, and there you have it. All right, so I have cut my designer series paper to fit, and you know, I really had a hard time deciding. I think we'll use that pattern this time. They're both really cute, and I kind of like the messiness of this one. All right, there we go. Now, let's make our pig. I'm gonna stamp it with my Stamparatus. Make sure I get a nice, good, crisp image. I'm gonna take my stamp and lay it down right in the middle and then pick it up and we'll get our memento black. And I'm gonna stamp it twice. That way I have a nice dark image. See some? All right, I'm gonna stamp it again. Sometimes our memento is kind of light in areas. I don't know, I can't seem to quite get it inked up the right way so I'm gonna stamp it again and that way now we have this really nice crisp image all right I'm gonna color my pig with Calypso coral to go with our DSP 
and our box. And I'm just gonna start with my light Calypso Coral and color everything in. I'm using the bullet tip end of my marker. I find that I have better control with this end of the marker, but there's a brush tip that you can use if you prefer that. All right, so color that all in. And then I'm gonna come back a little bit over here and add some darker shading, okay? Kind of give him some, like a shadow. Add a little bit of shadow to his ears. And then I'm gonna take um, the dark, here it is right here, and I'm just gonna do his nose and his little hooves. There we go. All right, I'm gonna use Poppy Parade for the bike. And I'm just gonna go with the dark here. And I'm gonna color all of it in again with that bullet tip end of my marker. Okay, smoky slate, we'll do up here for the light and the center of those tires and the light and the bumper. All right, so now I'm gonna take Daffodil Delight and I'm gonna color in some of these little stars here, some of the other little moon crescent shapes. And while I'm here, I'm also gonna color in this sign. I'm gonna start over here with dark, and then I'm gonna take my light, and I'm gonna blend it over into this side. I'm also gonna take my Poppy Parade again. Let's see, we'll get the bullet end and do a few more of these little confetti pieces. All right, last but not least, I'm gonna come back with my crumb cake and add a little bit of shadow underneath like that. All right, now I'm gonna cut them out with one of our celebration tag dies on my cut and emboss machine. that down right there and run it through and let's see how it looks there we go look at that see how it puts those little holes there for your ribbon all right so let's bring our box back over and I'm gonna get my black and white gingham red ribbon ready and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna feed it through the top like this and back over here like that. And then I'm gonna grab some dimensionals. And sandwich that in. And we'll put that right about there. Okay, and we'll tie our bow over here. And that's gonna keep your box closed, but it's also kind of sandwiched in there so it's not gonna fall off when they open it. Cut those off at an angle. Now I decided it needed just a little bit more something something. <laughs> so I have two, um, seven eighths inch strips of Daffodil Delight designer series paper. And I'm gonna punch one end of both of them. And I'm gonna adhere them down here. Now I think mine are much too long, so I'm gonna have to trim them. And we'll put one right here. And then we're gonna trim this one too. And we'll put this one kind of in shorter like that. And then a piece of Poppy Parade. It's 
get that in there and punch and snip it down and we'll stick that right there and there we are how fun is that this little birthday piggy stamp set is just the most fun and i think it's you'll get a lot of use out of it it makes really fun birthday projects and uh birthday cards for anybody all right make sure you click the link here on youtube to hop back to my blog there's a free pdf as well as two other birthday piggy projects thanks everybody bye bye